You called for me, Father? Yes. How is my oldest daughter? Have you not yet made anyone cry today? Sadly, no, but there's not past noon yet. Hello, Father. Hello, Julia. Is this a family meeting? Alexandra, where were you this afternoon? You were supposed to be here with me. I grow weary of doing your task and mine. You were about to find ribbons again, weren't you? Trying to make yourself look more beautiful than Magus. What? What gave you that idea? What are you? My private guard? I don't have to explain myself to you. Do you see how she treats me, Father? Do you see what I have to put up with That's when... That's quite enough. To answer your question, Alexandria, yes, this is a family meeting. And I've brought you here to discuss several things. First, Julia, your tour of... Oh, Father, thank you! You're going to send me on a tour of Asia, Egypt, Syria! Oh, Father, thank you! It's just what I always wanted! Actually, no, I'm sending you to Hispania as we decided to further your cultural education. No, Father! You decided that! I distinctly remember that we together decided on a tour to Hispania, just as I did when I was a child of your age. Besides, Asia and Egypt is on the other side of the Mediterranean. Thus the basis of their appeal. I will not let you travel to those foreigners. Besides, you could be kidnapped or worse. Huh. Let's hope for something worse. Father, ask Alexander where she was this afternoon. Better yet, ask her who she was with. Julia, let's not change that. <coughs> who were you with, Alexandra? Now, don't get upset, Father. But there is this man who has no position to speak of, I might add. And I think I might be in love. Wait, I will hear no more. The answer is no, Alexandria. I will not have you carrying on with a common man or any other man for that matter. But Father, he's not common. What is the two rules of being of royal blood? Number one, you will not marry beneath yourself. Number two, you don't marry before your older daughter. You've been raised from a child to know the reasons behind this. Why do you test me now? But Father, that's not fair! Go ahead, Alexandra. Throw a fit. Maybe it will help. Will you please keep quiet? We are focusing on me here. I'm the only emperor's daughter in the history of this world that has to wait for her older sister to get married. Father, please, it's not fair. Julia will never get married and I will be unwed for the rest of my life. And that suits me just fine. At least men find me attractive. You don't even have any prospects. Oh. At least I don't parade around the streets going, Look at me! I'm I do not! Enough. You will be civil to each other in my presence. This brings me to the second thing I wish to discuss you with. Tomorrow night is a feast for the Empire. I have decided, I have decided to have it in both of your honors. Alexandria, this will give you your coveted opportunity to mingle among the young men. And Julia, I expect you to do the same. And bring to me, for your suggestions and my consideration, the names who you think worthy of yourselves. Father, 
May I have a new gown made from the silk you brought back from Egypt? And the ribbons I found at the market today will be just perfect! See? <laughs> you were out buying ribbons when you should have been here doing your music lessons! Follow this is a ridiculous display! She has plenty of things to wear already! Yes, she may. The Emperor's daughters should look their best. Very well, Alexandra, you may have the silk. And Julia, you may have your pick of the fabrics that have arrived from Egypt. No, thank you, Father. I have plenty of things that are suitable already. There's no reason to be so frivolous. Well then, that's all. You may both go. Don't get your heart set on Marcus, Alexandra. I have no intention of finding anyone at the feast or for getting married at all, for that matter. You should better content yourself with tours of Hispania and music lessons, because that is all you have to look forward to. Julia, you don't mean that. Father will make you marry, and then I and Marcus will. <laughs> and I did it before one o'clock. <laughs> songs with Flavia St. Cornelia. The part of the show where Flavia St. Cornelia is about to sing a silly song. So without further ado, silly song with Flavia St. Cornelia. Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know, but everyone's got a <laughs> 